Bulls are pretty cool animals, but they can be hard to spot. I'm going to give you nine tips to improve your chances of finding an owl. Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. This is a long-eared owl and they are pretty widespread across North America. Just like in my Finding Salamanders video, which I will link here, I want to start off with some things to remember. Respecting the owls in their space is critical. Tip one, get a pair of binoculars. They will make spotting owls so much easier. We want to remember not to try to get too close to an owl. Let them have their personal space. Tip two, before you go, do some research. Check out birding websites and get some guides. These are a few of mine. Not only should you know the species, but it's important to know a little something about their behavior. You can actually tell a lot about owls hunting behavior by the color of their eyes. This is an adaptive trait. Owl eyes come in orange, yellow, and dark brown. Like everything, there are some exceptions, but orange eyes, like on the great horned or Eurasia eagle owls, indicate crespuscular, meaning they hunt at dawn and dusk. Diurnal owls, like the snowy owl, have yellow eyes and are daytime hunters. Dark eyes found on the barn and barred owls indicate they hunt at night. I will link a study below if you are interested in learning more. Tip three, look for crevices in large trees. This eastern screech owl is taking a nap. From a distance, look for holes in trees that may be giving an owl a well-deserved sleep. Tip four, be stealth. When you spot an owl, sit down and be very quiet. This makes you look like less of a threat and doesn't cause stress. Tip five, tree groves. You will need to be observant. See how this long-eared owl blends into their surroundings? Take the time and really look at the thick groves of conifer or other hardwood trees. Owls may be perched on branches near the trunk. Tip six, learn to look for owl signs. Here we have a barred owl eating a meal. As part of the owl's digestive process, the body forms a waste pellet. These pellets contain bones and fur. Look for them under trees. On a side note, you can purchase owl pellets, which make a fabulous science activity as you look for what's in them. I am going to do an upcoming video for this. Tip seven, whitewash. Another sign to look for is whitewash or bird poop. You have probably seen what happens to buildings where the, a lot of birds congregate. Tree trunks can get covered with bird poop from larger species. Never use an owl call or bait the owls to get closer to them. Not only is it illegal in many areas, it's just obnoxious and considered avian harassment. This is because using artificial owl sounds causes owls great stress. They think there is an unknown owl in their territory and fly around looking to pick a fight. Females have been known to abandon their nests. So use your binoculars or a nice telephoto lens on the camera. Tip eight, look to other birds to give you a clue that an owl or other bird of prey is in the area. If a flock of crows suddenly flies up and seems stressed, an owl may have just come into the territory. Also, chipmunks and squirrels will chirp out warnings. Tip nine, taking a night hike can be a lot of fun. You will see a whole different world of animals. Never shine your light directly at an owl or any other species for that matter. Don't use flash photography. You can place a dish towel or a piece of sheet over your flashlight to help diffuse the light. Find a safe spot to sit and turn off the flashlight so your eyes can adjust. Then listen and watch. I love owls and getting to see them in the wild is just so exciting. Check out my video on finding salamanders or my playlist of owl videos. Please give this video a thumbs up to help my channel grow. 
Thanks for watching and have a wild day.